Hi, my name is Alf, and today I'll introduce you to something I've called the Snap Generator, which is an add-in for Fusion 360 that allows you to generate snap geometries. You can find this project at GitHub uh, by this link here, which is also found in the description. You can just get a small overview of what this is about. Essentially, it creates these cantilevers. Uh, it, it generates them as well as a mating slot in your parts. Uh, and it's also able to make this pin, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna show you how to install it, and then I'm gonna show you how to use it. Although this guide should be sufficient, but a video is nice to have. So we're going clicking on releases, and we're getting this. Okay, I'm actually, I already downloaded this, I guess, but basically you just have to unzip it. So you get, get this folder, and the name of the folder is important for Fusion to, under, to understand this correctly. So if we go back here, uh, you'll see this. there are two folders here, one for uh, Windows and one for Mac. So I'm on Windows, so I'm just going to copy this folder, and this is the folder that Fusion expects uh, the add-in to, uh, add to be in. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this into here. Okay, some random stuff I've put here. I'm just going to cut and paste this in. Okay, that's all. That should... Uh, that should be it, enough for Fusion to understand. Now I'm gonna open Fusion 360. Uh, you don't have to actually have Fusion 360 closed. Uh, it will work uh, either way. You're first gonna have to activate it. So you're going to Tools, and then into Add-ins here. You should get this little pop-up here. We're going to Add-ins here, and now, this thing should pop up here with the exact same name as the folder. Note that if the folder has some changed name, this is not gonna work, okay? So we're just gonna run it. So we'll go back to the solid tab here and you'll see this little thing has popped up. So if we just um, click this, you can see that it generates this shape. And on the control panel here, you can adjust everything. Like you have, okay. You have the top radius here, you can adjust that. That will create a radius. You can look at the nose angle, we can make it 90 degrees or 45, whatever if you, for some reason, want 120, although, wait, 120, although I would not advise this, it's possible. There are limits though. Uh, we can do the length, change the length, and notice what happens here. <laughs> this may seem like very strange thing, but at this, here you notice the strain, and this is essentially the maximum strain that will occur in this cantilever. Essentially, it's uh, at the point where the cantilever is mostly deflected, and the deflection height will be this. So if it's pushed into a slot, uh, then that's how much it will be deflected. And the longer it is, the more it can be deflected. That's why you're getting this ridiculous thing. So the solution to that is uh, you increase the thickness a bit. Okay. So now it looks looks more reasonable and it's, it's better this way. It's just stronger. Let's say you have two parts. Okay, I'm gonna make one part here, like so. Wow, that's really zoomed in. So I'm gonna make this 20. All right, make it 10. Oh, make it 20, whatever. And then, uh, oh, actually, hang on, I'm gonna do this, like so. It doesn't really matter, actually. Can I just, no, I cannot. Do this. And then I'll make another. Another body, like so, a new body. Okay, so now we have two bodies there. And the point about uh, the, the snap geometry is that we want to use this to make these two objects kind of click together. 
to make them stick to each other. Um, and this is fully possible. What we'll do is in order to be able to position this thing, as you can see now, it just, it's just lying there. I mean, you can't do anything with it. It's just lying there. So we have to find a way to position it. And the way this is done is you go to the assemble menu here and you click the joint origin. This is the only way it can be done, you know, as, as built in. So just, just put it in the middle there, whatever. And you see this, uh, the green arrow, or no, the green vector, it's pointing in this direction, and that's the same direction as the cantilever will point. So you can always like rotate this to whatever direction you want. So we'll click the snap thing here, and you see here the joint origin selection tool is pre-selected, so you can just click there, and it pops out just like that with the settings that you've selected. Again, you can change the settings and it will do that. You should probably have some top radius there. That's a very good idea. Uh, and now you can see that it creates its own component here. But very often you kind of want it to be part of another component or part of a body. You, rarely you want this by itself. So you can click a body to join here and you'll simply click that and now you'll notice the component is gone. Now what has happened here is that uh, there is a join body operation here. So now this, these two are now one body. Okay. So yeah, one body. And all of the operations are neatly in this little block here. And it's called cantilever. Let's just delete that because there is, uh, that's that, but this alone is not very useful for us because now we have another body here and this is just gonna pierce into that. And there, I mean, this is pointless, right? So I'm gonna delete this. And we're gonna use the, the, another function here. So we're joining to this body, and now we're also cutting this body. And there is like this little visual thing going on here, which reducing the opacity, so that you, it's becoming transparent, so you can actually see what's going on. Uh, and notice uh, that the size of the hole that is being created here. So you can see the hole follows. You know, it does whatever this does. You know, I can change it. If I change the strain to let's say 0.3, you'll notice that the hole will, hang on, that's, okay, that's craziness. Don't don't make it that big. <laughs> um, you can change the length, whatever. You'll see that the hole will kind of follow whatever you do. Uh, but there is a gap here between um, between the cantilever and kind of the mating slot. And you can control the size of that gap with these things here. So th uh, you can see the, what the different things are on this um, here. First of all, it's the parameters that are determining the geometry of the cantilever itself, like the radiuses, what, uh, that sort of thing. And you have here, you have the gap thickness, if you notice that. So that's the distance between the closest point of this to the closest point here, you can determine that. And that's also the same distance as up here and up here. So you can control that. We can see how that looks in action. If we change this to zero, notice that now this is perfectly the same distance as this, and it will be touching slightly at one point there. Let me create a top radius here. Okay. Wow, we just discovered a bug. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> um, if you look at the gap length, you see this? That's adjusting this, you can see that. So if I'm doing the 0 0.5 here now. Now this, the reason why you wanna change this stuff is specifically for 3D printing. It's very useful because different printers are different and you know it can be quite helpful to you know have some control here you can also save profiles so let's say i'm really happy with this geometry even though this is this is terrible uh let's say i'm happy with this geometry and i want to save it although this this gap is just way too big you know it doesn't make sense so 
maybe 0.2 or something. So I want to save this profile. Okay, my newest profile, my, my um, intro video profile. I'll save that. It appears here. And also, the gaps here are not saved in the profile. So you notice we have to make a gap profile. So it's the intro profile as well. There. Now we can save this. Well, now actually, it's already saved now. Um, so we just click OK. And now you have two pieces that are mated together. We can just do a small inspection here to see how it is. So you see inside. Yeah. So you can print this out. Uh, and what you'll do in practice is um, you actually have to try out these different values because it will, depending on the orientation you're printing it and depending on your printer, you may need to put different gap values. And so you just save your profile when you're happy with, the, with those values. You make your own profile and for, uh, you'll probably be good to go, hopefully. Um, yeah, that's the cantilever. Hope you'll try it out. See ya.